Welcome to Explore Travel TV. My name is David L. Peters, and today I'm in the airport. I'm actually leaving Las Vegas and heading to Hawaii. I'm going to Maui for a few days, and uh, this is going to be a little different because I'm going to be uh, staying two days at a very expensive resort hotel. It's actually about $1,000 a night uh, hotel, and then I'm also going to be at a budget condo, uh, a different part of the island, and uh, it's all going to be on the beach too. So we're going to see what that budget condo is like versus the expensive resort hotel. So anyways, let's go ahead and go on this little vacation and uh, we're gonna check out what Maui has to offer. Okay, this is my first stop, my first hotel out of two hotels. This is the AC Hotels by Marriott. Uh, it's a very nice resort uh, type of place, very cool. We're gonna go in and take a look around. I'm gonna show you the room and everything that this has to offer. It's a beautiful area, beautiful land. Uh, I'm excited, let's go check it out. They do have parking for hotel guests. It is $30 um, and you get uh, in and out privileges as well. Um, not too bad. Kind of nice private low parking. This is part of the infinity pool. So walking into the room, we have some drawers, a, uh, a refrigerator, coffee maker, ice bucket. We have the uh, safe coat rack with your ironing board and iron and some shelf unit stuff there. Yes, that's a Walmart bag. I stopped on the way here and picked up some water and some snacks. Uh, let's take a look at the bathroom. So coming in here to the bathroom, we have a square toilet. Interesting. See some artwork. You do have a hair dryer, your basic necessities, towels, Kleenex, that kind of stuff. Beautiful mirror. And uh, inside the shower, you've got a big old rain head, shower head, handheld. You're all your soaps and stuff like that there, little shelf. And then the controller for it is over there. Pretty nice. And the, the door, the door is a frosted door, glass door. And coming into the room, we have a nice little seating area here. Huge TV. Some power outlets, a desk, nice little desk area. We're gonna have a nice couch. Nice couch area. There's a lamp up there. And then on the side of the beds, we've got a nice side lamp and reading lamps. Check it out. The reading lamp. There you go, just like that. And then, like I said, more outlets, remote control phone, and the bed is super huge. A nice, soft, comfy bed. Nice artwork. And same on this side over here, you've got the lamp and reading lamp and power supplies and all that. Now let's go take a look at the outside. So outside we have the patio set, and then we got the pool and the ocean. Wow, beautiful, beautiful view. Very nice. Now there's a nice little pool with an infinity edge. And then over to the right hand side of that is their pool bar, which actually serves food as well. I'm gonna go check that out in just a minute. Okay, this is their breakfast, it's all you can eat. 
And what you do is you actually can order anything and everything if you want from this menu here. Uh, and then they make it fresh in their, um, in their kitchen. Now there's no real restaurant here. You can actually sit and eat pretty much anywhere out here, outside, wherever you like. So you can order or, and you can get anything from this area. So you have cheeses, meats, fruits, breads, pastries, coffee. Oh, espresso too. Oh, we're gonna have to get that. Cereals, muffins. Okay, I'm nearing the end of my stay here at the AC Hotel by Marriott. So I have a few um, final thoughts on this. It is a very nice hotel. The staff is very, very nice, very attentive. Matter of fact, the uh, front girl check-in, uh, she remembered, I came back later and she still remembered my name. So that was very, very good. Uh, the bar restaurant uh, type of place was, was good. Everybody was friendly there. Um, the food was really good as well. Again, there's no restaurant here. Um, you just need to order from the bar, but they do have a full kitchen that cooks a lot of stuff. So the selection is a little bit limited, but what they do have is very good. Like I said, it is a smaller location, so you're not gonna get a spa, and they only don't, they don't have a many restaurants and so forth. There's, there's a couple of resorts here actually are not very far from here. One of them is Marriott as well, um, which is ginormous, and they have tons of pools and water features and um, they even have shows there, the, the luau type shows. Uh, they have um, probably four or five restaurants, that kind of stuff. So if that's the type of thing that you're looking for, big super super resorts, what kind of what I call them, uh, this is not yet. This is more of a boutique type resort. Um, again, it's smaller. There's limited number of rooms. As you saw, the pool was nice. The hot tub wasn't working this morning, um, but there were people in it. I think it's still warm, but the jets weren't going um, to it. Now the breakfast um, the buffet type of thing slash order as much as you want was actually really good. Um, I ordered a few things from the menu. They cooked it, made to order, and then they have the rest of the stuff available there as well. Uh, room is very nice. A couple things. Let's see the shower. Um, the nice rainfall shower head was nice. But if you want something a little stronger, they do have the handheld one, which has the uh, massage 
type, you know, jets coming out of that thing. Um, pretty nice there. Uh, using the square toilet wasn't that weird, actually, it was fine. This is not an adult-only resort. There are kids here, um, so if you're looking for something really quiet with adults only, this might not be the right place for you, but if you have your family, this place could be very nice. Um, again, it's very uh, limited in what to do for activities, so if you want kids to do, you know, the big pools and water slides and all that, this is not for that either, but this might be a good option for you. As I showed you at the beginning, there is a $30 per night parking, so be sure you're aware of that. And the food prices here at the bar restaurant type of place is not too bad. It kind of falls in line with a lot of the restaurants in the area. It's actually cheaper than some of the restaurants I was looking at. Um, you're looking about 20 to $25 for some of the plates here. Uh, they do have a happy hour and they also offer music on like Wednesdays and I think Friday or Saturday. That's tonight, which I'm not going to be here for that anyways, but they do have that option. So that's it for this hotel. Next step is to head out and go to the next one. Okay, I made it over to the uh, condos. Uh, you'll see that here uh, behind me. I'm gonna go walk around and we're gonna see the beach and see everything, so we're gonna get a closer look at it. I guess they said there's a restaurant nearby as well um, and a pool, so we're gonna go check that out and uh, see what it's like. Okay, I finally got my condo room. It is number 502, so let's take a look at it. Come on in, and right to the left is we have your bathroom area. There's a closet, nice, actually nice, good sized closet, some towels, hangers. Uh, it looks like a uh, iron and ironing board in the corners. Uh, these are mirrored, so you get the full, full length mirror, lots of mirrors, and then the bathroom, very simple, Kleenex, there's some uh, soap stuff over here, you do get a hair dryer as well, oh looks like more supplies down there for soap and whatnot, and then pretty basic, just a toilet, towels, and a bathtub, shower situation there. Okay, coming in, now this is a, a condo, this is a studio condo. So you can see that it's got uh, set up a uh, little table lamp uh, with my stuff all over it. Uh, nice little sofa couch, it does make into a bed, so you can have extra people here. Uh, there's a pull-out bed to it. And then, uh, you know, lamp, a nice table there. I'll show you the patio in just a minute. So you got a nice little dining table here 
good sized TV and hutch. And then we have kind of a kitchenette uh, type of thing. It's, it's really small, but it's, it's basic. You do have a nice coffee maker uh, here, so that is good. Looks like coffee cups and wine glasses, all that stuff there, and actually some coffee too. A little hot pad cooking platform there. And then microwave, sink, and a refrigerator. Now you do get um, some utensils are in here. You get more, more cooking utensils. You can use the barbecue outside. There's some barbecue tools, a toaster underneath, trash can. Uh, let's look up here. Up here we have glasses and a pitcher. Here we've got a uh, thing to wash your dishes and an ice bucket. And the fridge is pretty small, but it's a, it's got a little ice tray in there and I put some stuff in there already. And then the fridge, uh, of course my water beer and banana bread, <laughs> everything is up in there. Very nice. And then over here on this side of the cooking area, you do have uh, more knives and napkin things. And then underneath here is your pots and pans. Let's see if you can see that. We got pots and pans, plates, definitely enough stuff to entertain a few people, mixing bowls, lots of things. Um, pretty nice actually. And like, where's the bed? So this is a studio. There's no, no bed. Are you gonna sleep on the couch? No, not really. Actually, this big unit right here is the bed. It's a Murphy bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that down to show you that next. Okay, there you have it. Uh, this one is, I think they said it was a, a twin size, but it's pretty good size. It might be a queen, I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, it's big enough for two people, uh, but it, of course it's just me. And it looks like there are some lights up above as well. Way over on this side, looks like. There we go. Lights are on. Pretty nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and check out this balcony. Now, I'm not directly facing the ocean. As you can see outside, I'm facing the other place, but I'm going to open this up. Now there's a couple of chairs here, and I'm going to show you the view. So you got the other condo, but coming over here on this side, You've got the ocean. So I would consider it a partial ocean view, but it's not too bad. I hope to catch the sunset, otherwise I'm gonna have to go down to the patio down there. Nice. Okay, one of the uh, owners here at the condos recommend that I walk down the street a little bit to a sushi place. He had the best sushi he has ever had. It's that little hole in the wall place down the street, so I'm gonna go check it out. Let's go. Okay, this is where the other restaurant is. The Sands of Kahana is the um, the hotel that's our condos that are right next door to us. And uh, the restaurant is supposed to be in there. It's called the Beach House Bar and Grill. Here you go. There's actually a shop, a little shopping area, and it's called Miso Fat. Right there. I can relate. Okay, this is what I heard. It's BYOB, which means you can bring your own booze in. They don't serve booze. So I think there's a liquor store nearby, right next door here. We're going to go find and see if we can get some sake or beer or something and bring it in.
Okay, that was really good sushi. I even got one to go because I was here early. Uh, this place is very small, so uh, there's usually a long waiting list to get on it. I came early. I came like at 4 o'clock. Um, so I want to get out to the, uh, make sure I get that sunset. But I wanted to get here early, but I got one to go so I can have a second dinner. Uh, very good. Very nice. I loved it. It was good stuff. Okay, that was a nice long day. I did a lot of stuff today. This is my last night here, so I need to pack up and get to bed. Um, I had that great dinner, um, such a great adventure all day long. Now, I wanna just do a little recap here of the condo. Um, so let's go over a few things. It, it's budget friendly, meaning it's a couple hundred bucks. I think it's around 250 to $300 a night, which is considered budget here in um, Hawaii. Things are expensive in Hawaii. Everything's expensive. The, the places to stay, the food. So be prepared to be spending some money. Um, you can probably get by with a little cheaper with not doing some of the nice local restaurants if you just do fast food or something like that. Um, but you know, you're here to enjoy, so go ahead and enjoy that. So the um, the condo itself is, is pretty basic. Uh, you saw the layout of it. Um, this one here is a studio one. That, and they have other condos, of course, in different locations. Uh, matter of fact, the one next to us um, is has a lot more units, uh, a bigger pool. They have a restaurant, which is where I went to for dinner tonight. Um, and you saw how, uh, you know, a bigger pool, but there's more people and more kids and it's more noisy, uh, that kind of thing. And then they have those, uh, you know, lots of other types of uh, condo uh, type of situations. So anyways, um, very, very basic here. Uh, most everything you need. If you're going to be here for a week and you want to be able to cook for your family and not go out to eat all the time, you can go to the grocery store buy stuff, cook it. They have all the, everything you need to cook and barbecue, the barbecues out there. I saw them cleaning it this morning, so they're always on top of that. Now, um, a couple of things, um, the hot tub, I heard one lady was talking, I was talking to and she said that the hot tub hasn't worked a lot. Um, it was warm, there was people in it um, and it seemed to be working. So I don't know if they fixed it. Uh, the pool is small, but you know, it's, it's, it's pretty decent for, you know, the view. <laughs> you just go in the ocean, it's right there, right? Um, now the, the, the bathroom, the shower was basic. Uh, it was hot water, it got really, really hot. So that's good, uh, nothing fancy about that there. Um, now the TV was not working for me. Well, it did, it turned on and I was able to get one channel which was the um, Baywatch. So if you wanted to watch the Baywatch channel and watch Baywatch all night long, you know, it's on the beach, I guess it's fitting. Um, and I, the remote control wouldn't work other than volume. It, it wouldn't change channels. I did call down, they had a, 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 a fix it person, you know, a maintenance person come uh, actually pretty quickly um, and he couldn't get it to work either. Uh, he just tried some stuff. I'm pretty, I'm pretty knowledgeable on, um, on electronic stuff and I couldn't figure out what was going on. I think the remote was bad or the TV's bad, so hopefully they'll fix it. And I said, don't worry about it because I really don't care about watching TV. I have my tablet. I watch some Netflix or something like that. So anyways, uh, the internet's good. They have good internet here um, as well. So it was, um, so only a few, a few little issues, but not too bad. Otherwise everything is good. Well, the bed, the bed is not really that comfortable. Again, it's that Murphy bed. Um, 
I couldn't sleep like in the middle of it because it had like a ridge down the middle. I had to sleep over to a side. Uh, definitely not like a luxury hotel bed, the first one I was at. Um, I was kind of spoiled with it, but um, I was able to get some sleep, so it, it worked. But, you know, it, don't expect a luxury, you know, hotel type situation <laughs> going on here. But, uh, but the condo was nice. Again, the view was decent. Um, I, and now they have ones that are actually facing the ocean. Those are usually the owner's um, uh, rooms. If you're just renting it um, through like Verbo or Airbnb and that kind of stuff, you kind of get the side room here. But, but that's the cheaper one. That's what I got because you want to be, you don't want to stay in your room. You want to be out and about. If you're looking for a home base kind of thing, you're going to be out doing stuff. And when I talk about stuff, there's a lot of stuff to do here in Maui. Um, and I'm going to talk to you more about that later. Let's finish up, let's finish up this, this condo. Um, otherwise, it was pretty decent. The people at the front were friendly. The, the concierge person that was there to help um, you know, plan stuff, they gave me a big map and told me some suggestions and things to do, whatever. Uh, it, was, it was pretty good, pretty decent for the price. Again, it's not going to be fancy or bougie if you are into that kind of stuff. There's many, 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 many other places to go for that. So, um, so that's the condo there, and you can kind of see the difference. What do you prefer um, yourself? Tell me in the comments down below. Do you like a little bougie? Now, the first hotel I was at was kind of a, a boutique hotel because it was it was pretty basic as well. It was it was fancy. It was super nice and luxurious, but it was small and it didn't have a lot of amenities. There are hotels, the Grand Wailea or something or whatever. It's like the one I walked by uh, you, where you saw that earlier. I walked by the beach and, and I walked by the front of that and they had their, their show going and they have like a thousand rooms and, and all the pools and all the restaurants and all that stuff. And if that is more your speed and you're here with like a family, then definitely you need to book something like that. But if you like a, a nice little small boutique bougie kind of thing uh, that's your style there if you want to just come your family you want to do a lot of activities and you want to stay fairly inexpensive then look into condos now when I talk about things about things to do there's a lot of things to do. I barely scratched the surface I only had four days here um, and some of that's traveling in between places so um, and I did a lot I did a lot of things as you have seen but you can do snorkeling you can do diving you can do whale watching you can do luau's I didn't even do a luau I saw one <laughs> the other hotel peeked in on that um, you can do luau's there's 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 so many things and, and I think there's another um, aquarium too because uh, somebody asked me which one I'm going to I'm, I didn't know there was more than one so there's that um, and then the road to Hana, I only did like half the stuff because I couldn't stop on some areas and some areas that you need to have reservations. And that's, and that's also another thing too, is if you plan ahead and make reservations, you can do more things. And I recommend that because like Luau's, they book up. You need to reserve that ahead of time. Um, that black sand beach, you need to reserve ahead of time. If you want to do the sun, sunrise at the volcano, you've got to book that ahead of time. So if you're planning it, if you're a planner and you like to structure yourself, definitely you want to book those kind of things. I came here with no, nothing, nothing booked other than the hotel and the car and, and the condo. That's all I had booked. I just winged it and it worked out okay. You know, you kind of, I could have sat around at the beach and do nothing, which is also very nice to do because these beaches are great if you want to relax or go and do stuff. I figured I came all this way and I want to show you guys some of the stuff that is out here. So I went and did stuff and it was a really good time. So I hope you enjoyed my video and my adventures here on Maui. I did a lot of stuff. I don't know how long this video is going to be until I edit it. Um, and I appreciate you just hanging in here with me and listening to me and watching my adventures. Um, if, if you like this kind of stuff, please give me the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I'm going to do a lot more traveling, but remember life is short, so live it and travel more when you can. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.